fish in the deep sea water probably gives out a deep sigh. I turn my body over once again to the howling of a dog and close my eyes. My body lying in the night is silently receiving electrical waves. This is the center of the earth. The farmer whose back was in the shape of an A. I wonder if he is already going to sleep. The farmers who were moving around like the characters in a TV game. On the roof, made of bamboo woven together, a nightbird cries. The trees in the village cry. Akapapa, Akapapa. How are you? How are you? The motorcycle boys who I just left are probably still playing, hanging around outside a disco that plays Michael Jackson, skirt chasing Japanese jazz. You are sleeping. With laundry still hanging out on the veranda, a magazine is opened up beside your pillow. Even if you swim up in the middle of your dream, nights in Tokyo are shallow. I tried writing a letter to you many times, but I couldn't find the right Japanese words to describe the atmosphere of this island. And so instead of writing a letter, I'm sending out words like notes that are neither Japanese nor Indonesian. Wishing that my emotions that make the air vibrate very faintly will reach you in Tokyo. The people on this island believe that there is a demon living in the ocean, in the sea of Sibarashi. Other than children, there are foreigners only. As I walk the dark streets with not even one street lamp, I begin to feel more and more that there could be even several types of demons in the darkness. A dog walks unsteadily down the street like a ragged glove. A duck glows white in the darkness. The fish in the deep sea water probably gives out a deep sigh.